You're watching the Wing Feather Saga, an epic adventure with a family fighting for their lives. Hi, I'm Charlotte. My dad produces this show. The Wing Feather Saga is made possible thanks to you, our incredible fans and investors. We've made this show free so that more people around the world can watch it. And that is only possible because of your support when you pay it forward and buy merch. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy this episode of The Wing Feather Saga. From above, we fit. Prepare to march. Mm. Huh? Off with you then. We'll be ready. Nobody else in Glipwood does thags. Why do we have to? You don't have to, you get to. All right, why do we get to? Because Esben would have wanted you to. Your father isn't here. But that doesn't mean you're not his children. You're Igabees, and Igabees learn their thags. What's so special about being an Igabee? Yeah, it doesn't feel special being locked up inside for the last two weeks. Tell Mar Igabee, if you don't want to study the three honored and great subjects, then you can just help me fold laundry instead. No, I, I didn't say I didn't want to do thags. I just asked why we have to. Mm-hmm. Spell ho holoray? Where did you hear that word? It was in the song I sang with the dragons. But those weren't even real words, you were just making them up. And I heard the dragons speak it. But dragons don't sing real words, right, Grandpa? I never yet met one that did. Boy, could it roar, though. I bet that roar could blow all the fangs right back to Dang. Wait! Do dragons eat fangs? Dragons plague the sea, fangs plague the land. Neither troubles the other. Now no more talk of dragons, understood? All right then, I'll be outside making the rounds. to get out of the house. It's not safe. Ah, no fang has so much as shown their face this side of the bridge. We've hit long enough. In fact, it's time we get back to normal. I'm going into town tomorrow, and I'm taking the children with me. Oh, but Papa. Just for a game of Zipsy. It's far enough outside the town that no one will trouble them. Ah. <laughs> 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 
are fearsome, loathsome. You are not. I might even have to move up your refangings. Oh, might need to make it two refangings for old floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, slob. Humiliated by the Igami piglets and their mutt. Those runts never thrashed me. A rock conked my skull bone from above. Probably that florid sword. Come all the way from Dugtown just to cook your noggin, did he? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just got orders to be ready to march, and marching usually ends up in fighting. And fighting is what gets a fang promoted. If we impress General Crack, our next assignment might just be in Torboro. And that place is swimming in Megan. <laughs> 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 oh, shut your gums. Go prepare your gear, sharpen your spears, and kiss your ugly mamas goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Fags ain't got no mamas. <laughs> I said dismissed. <laughs> Not you. You're being reassigned. The black carriage rolls into Glipwood tonight. I'm putting you on carriage duty. Jenner, keep an eye out, and stay clear of the forest. Yes, sir. Come on, let's play! But we can't start without her. If she's a team captain... Sure we can. I'll pick who I want, she can have leftovers. <laughs> you aren't gonna start picking teams without me, were you, Buns? <clears throat> Whoa! You made this? Yeah. It took me two weeks to get it perfectly stuffed. Wow. This is amazing, Sarah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Janner. No, thank you. Be quiet. I didn't say anything. So, how long a match are we playing? Three game blocks? Make it ten. And losers have to eat a bowl of boggle worms. Glow. The kind that glow? The kind that glow. Ten it is. First pick, I got Tink. Mm, I want... Lily. <gasps> good luck. We get Janner. Sarah, you know I'm not that good at Zibzy. I've mostly just sat on the sidelines and watched it all my life. That's exactly why I picked you. You know every rule in this crazy game, and that's gonna help us win. Ready to be scallywalloped? I've never lost as captain. You've never been captain. Like I said. All right, let's do this. Winger, winger, Tom Dinger. Mushmeal cakes and hot big bacon. Run to the trough, it's here for digging. You know, at some point, Poto, you're gonna have to let old Buzzer Willie off the ah, hook. 
It's not me, it's him. And it was almost 50 years ago. Let bygones be bygones. Mm, I'm an old man, Ferinia. All I got are me bygones. Well, ain't that the truth. What can I get you, Poto? <clears throat> I'll take the Torboro special. You looking for bad news? Or worse? Oh. <laughs> Dragon strike! Could knock a block, Dink. Two points. I got bomb novel. I'm froze. Storm stop! Hey, nice pass, Lily. <laughs> Working up an appetite for those boggle worms, Danner. Circle up, team. Tink, you're the best banger. Stay in gold this time and bounce their slingers. I'll bolt hard like I'm whooshing their screechers. When they mook their whackers, I'll jake those beans cross field to Janner who will already have skittered around their hounders. You only have Sarah to beat. Janner gets woozy around Sarah. Come on, Bunce, give me the shot. I do not get woozy. Janner will make the shot. Am I still frozen? So you think something's brewing with the fangs? Seems to be. Heard the grandkids got into a tussle during the festival. Oh, or maybe a little scuffle, but they got clear. Well, you should know that Norm's got your family marked for protection, thanks to Nia's tasty maggot loaf. Aye, my Nia. She's a clever girl. Oh, and that wily fang. <clears throat> Those crimson climate starts are in the back corner, Miss Durgo. Mm hmm Fine weather today, eh, ma'am? Yes, fine. That Fang Slarb who messed with your grands? Norm gave him a dust-up and put him on black carriage duty. Aye. Well, that'll keep him away to Fort Lamondron, then. Mm-hmm. For a bit, anyways. You ready to buy those now, Miss Durgo? <sighs> to be trampled to death by a gamblo. Good point, Lily. Jeb broke his freeze. That's four points for us. We win the first game block. What? Great job, Tink. You lost the game block and Sarah's new ball. I'll get it. Tanner, no. The was are dangerous. This is different. I'm doing it to help someone. Maybe Iggy Feather. Hey, Pete. What are you doing here? Where? Oh, here. Me. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Mr. The 
sock man. Pig a bees. Come along home now. Your mother will be worried. A, a sock man or not, just you wait till next game, Janner Igabee. This match goes on for eight more blocks. Oi, Tink, let's go, lad. Bye, guys. Hey, thank you for watching the Wing Feather Saga on our YouTube channel. This show has been made and continues to be made completely free to watch, in large part thanks to people like you. We rely on your support to make the Wing Feather Saga. When you share our show, pay it forward, or buy merchandise on our store, you make it possible for us to create more amazing episodes like this one. Just like many creators on YouTube and other places online, we can only continue making the show with your support. So, if you love what you're watching, help us make more. Now, back to the episode. Dark glory in the deep. I see you got the Torboro special at Ferenia's again. Ah, did more than that, I did. I also found out that troublesome Fang was reassigned to carriage duty, so he shouldn't be a problem around oh. Glipwood for a while. We can relax. Aye. No more of this laying low and creeping about. So I can go in to help Mr. Retief tomorrow? It's fourth day. He'll want me to unload the new shipment of books. All right. But stay clear of any fangs. I will. Thank you. And take Tink with you. Uh, I'm going there to work. I can't watch him the whole time. And Lily. Uh, Lily and I have some business of our own to attend to. <laughs> huh. Well then, that settles it. Another ship. Careful, brother. Those aren't flowers you're loading. They're going to the manor, yes. Indignably, yes. The manor. Place no sane person would want to visit. <laughs> Perfect. Travel well, old friend. Thanks, Mr. Schuster. Zoo Zapple loved this. Hello, Mr. Ratip? Zoo Zap? You, uh, summoned? Is Mr. Ratip around? Young Janna, yes. He's out back. Mr. Ratip? <laughs> ah, here, Mr. Ratip. Let me help. Ah, Janna. A most timely arrival. I knew a shipment was due today. Clever boy. Ever so observant. Why don't you unload these crates and I'll sort them. Mr. Ratip, where did you get all of these books? From all over Scree and beyond. After the Great War, many of the folk from across the Dark Sea came here. As they've passed through, I've collected and preserved everything I could. As the great librarian Gita Puttlestuff once said, behind every epic victory and crushing defeat is a librarian who told you which aisle it's in. I wish I could go on adventures, searching for books. The furthest I've ever been is to the field beyond Buzzard Willie's garden. And that was for a picnic. If there's one thing I learned in all my travels, lad, it's that some of the best journeys happen at home. Picture it, a warm fire tucked away with a good book. What I'm trying to say is that for as much as you want to see the wider world, 
Don't forget the glow of home. Don't forget this place. One day I'm going to need help running it, you know. <laughs> That's still a long way away. Here, I'll help you with the next crate. Anira. <laughs> oh, that. That's nothing. Why don't I finish up here and I'll meet you at the front. Run along! Quiet, boy! Grandpa, what are we doing? Dump in these scallywags where they can't steal our potatoes anymore. But why buzzer Willie's farm? Because he'll think it's funny. Here, give me a hand. He'll think it's funny when Thwap steal his potatoes? Uh, Fifty years ago, Willie and I were best friends, but both sweet on the same gal. Willie swooped in and stole Myrna Bridgeholler's heart before I could woo her. And you're still mad about it? Mad? Nah, I don't reckon I'm still mad. We just kind of got in the habit of paying each other back, prank upon prank. And after a while, I... Oh, I know it sounds strange, and but... And after a while, you were having so much fun pulling pranks on each other that you almost start to feel like friends again. I, I never said that. No one says my grandpa's girl and gets away with it. Tank, are you okay? I'm fine. Me and... What? That's weird. What is it? A map? But to what? Treasure, probably. Or, or a secret hideout for fang fighters. Put it back, Tank. It's not ours. And if it is fang fighters... If what is fang fighters? I am... Uh, uh, yes? We... We're like... What do you have there? Uh, <laughs> we... Uh, you mean this? The art of itching. Or this. Give it to me! The itch book? No, the luscious, juicy... Fetch! That was close. What was close? <gasps> Is everything all right? Uh... You're hiding something. Your secret is safe with me, child. But if you wish to cure a vexing rash, there are more helpful books than this. Believe me, I've read them all, if you know what I mean. Oh, I do know what you mean, sir. I recommend you begin with the classic diagnostic manual, Pimples, Dimples, Scabs, and Scars. If you have a moment, I'll fetch it. Unfortunately, we don't. We're already late. Promised our mom we'd be home to help with dinner. In that case, I'll pull some books about itches and have them waiting at the desk next time you come in. Uh, thanks? Ah, a beginner's guide to scratching unreachable places. Might aid that suffering child. Lily, dear, I made you something to replace what you lost. Here. <laughs> Lizard kicker? A sailor earns her sea name by her brave deeds. I'd say you earned this one when you fought the Fang. And we're very proud of her for it. But just the once, right, Lily? <laughs> Fangs are like toothy cows. Better not to meet them at all. Right. Thank you, Grandpa. Ah, now those Fangs will be quaking in their <laughs> scales at the sight of the mighty Lily. <laughs> How's that itch, Tink? What itch? Nothing. Mr. Atib got it in his head I had a rash, so he tried to give me books about itches. Why would Oscar think that? Now mark my words, boy. If it's a sort of a reddish green and your toes swell up, you can take the fatty gut parts of a swindle fish and you grind them up. Papa, and he... that's not appropriate talk for the table. I'm only saying. The boy has a rash. He might be too embarrassed to admit it. I don't have a rash. <laughs> Why does everyone think I have a rash? Hmm. I told 
you to put it back. I couldn't because of nosy Zoo Zab and then Oscar's Itch Crusade. We barely got out of there without getting caught. It's not ours, Tink. Do you think it's Mr. Ratip's? I don't know, but if it has to do with resistance fighters, then it's important. And someone needs it. We have to put it back. But right now, while we have it, couldn't we just follow it to see what secret it leads to? And then put it back? It's not ours, Tink. If there's a secret, it's not our secret. All right. But can't we just look at it at least? Fine. But just for a minute. Hey, doesn't that look a lot like Thingap Falls? Which means this would be where Glipwood is. And Ferenia's flower shop is where the special mark is. So then all this dark part is the forest. And what's that right in the middle of the woods? Ankle Jelly Manor, I think? I've heard of that. Isn't it haunted by the ghost of Brimney Stoop? Nah, <laughs> probably just a story. I don't know anyone who's ever been there. So why is a map to Ankle Jelly Manor stashed in a secret spot at Books and Crannies? Is Oscar secretly a treasure hunter? Or a fang fighter? Quick! You barnacle scrapers asleep yet? Yes, sir! <laughs> Almost. I didn't know my grandson slept standing up. Candles out. Good night. Night, Grandpa. Night, Grandpa. It could be treasure. Or fang fighters. my child. Would you sing the Song of Stones? We wish the power to be our own. Then let it bend, both shape and form. And make us fierce as fire and storm. The Nameless One no longer believes the jewels of Anira are in Scree. He means to march west, beyond the edges of the map. Why does the Mighty One continue to seek these jewels? Would you question the wisdom of Nag the Nameless, General? When we sacked Anira, many writings of Wingfeather were found. He spoke of the jewel's ancient power. Power that makes many things possible with more. Pliable souls. Ah, which is why he ordered us to seize the brats of Dugtown. Yes, my child, but it is not enough. The carriage must now travel nightly. For Nag! We hope you enjoyed this episode. To watch all our available episodes for free, download the Angel Studios app on your TV, mobile device, or access them on your computer at angel.com slash wingfeather. While you're there, you can watch other awesome content from Angel Studios like The Chosen, Dry Bar Comedy, Tuttle Twins, and many more. We can't wait for you to watch the next episode of The Wingfeather Saga. Dark
Like a Lord. 